Hello and welcome to the Nexus. Today we're doing issue 10 of our Optimus Prime build and we're going to start on the leg. So let's get it going. So there's our parts there. I don't think there's a lot to do, but as always, we're going to go through the magazine. Danger shooting action to the max on set so we're going to look at the uh the action scenes that were taken part in the transformers movie live action movie the death of optimus prime optimus prime has died a few times in a lot of uh, the comics the uh, actual f live action movies and the cartoon obviously as well and in all occasions he has come back to life in some form of another um, the Matrix of Leadership is what um, Optimus Prime, um, Sam Witwicky uses to bring him back to life. But this all goes through his comebacks and his deaths through the comics, cartoon and live action. Then we come on to Sideswipe. Yeah, one of the really cool characters from Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, he has these massive blades on his arm, which are really cool. Um, he's in that sequence right at the start of uh, Revenge of the Fallen where he sort of slices the Transformer in two. That's a really good scene. But here we go, we got Sideswipe there. Then we've got Autobots Series 3. So we take a look at some of the Autobots that were done for Series 3 or Wave 3 of the Transformers. Uh, com uh, the uh, Transformer toys, I should say. So Wave 3, we've got Triple Changes, as you can see. Robot, car, helicopter. I love the Triple Changes. Multiplex as well. Basically, Multiplex is a big city that transforms into a robot, basically. Uh, and we've got Wreck Gear here, which is really cool. And we've got some other cars down here, Rodimus Prime. So, we are starting on the right leg. That's the parts we're doing today. So, as always, let's get building. Okay, so we've got all the parts here. The first part we're going to grab is this weird section just here. And I will say it's weird because it looks weird. Um, it's got like a half ball section on the top. We're going to grab that ball section. And you can see that there's an indent there for a ball to go in. So we're going to grab this gold section. And we're just going to click that in. Like so. And as you can see it moves up and down. So we'll do that part. We're then going to grab our leg part which is all nicely wrapped up. I feel like this is uh, past the parcel. And I am unwrapping the layer that's got something nice in. And that is a massive, chunky bit of metal, I've got to say. That is lovely piece. Uh, that, I do believe, is his inner section, which is really nice. It also means that he's going to be really stable as well, which is good. So firstly, we're going to grab this uh, sort of section here. And that is just going to sit in there. We've got the three lugs and the three recesses. So that's just going to sit in like so. We're then going to grab this section, which is like a piston or some sort. And that is going to sit on here. That just pushes all the way up, like so. So that's where we should be at on that one. We're next going to grab our ball section just here. And we're going to actually poke it through this hole here. So it's just going to fall through like that. So it comes through just like that. We're going to use CM screws to do that. So let's do that. And that is it for issue 10. As you can see, we've uh, gone ahead and secured the CM screws just in there. And that is the, that is the end of issue 10. That is, that's all we're doing. Um, so we need to put these aside because I would imagine we're going to be using them in the next issue. Uh, but that is it for issue 10. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Scan the QR code. Come on, guys, you've got to be collecting this. This is so cool. So cool, especially if you're a Transformer fan. Um, so get yourself over to Fan Home using the uh, the links in the description or the QR code on screen. But as always, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you at the next one. Take it easy. Yeah.